God put a burden in my heart and in my wife's heart when we were teens, before we met each other. I saw that there were a lot of kids who simply needed a fresh opportunity to begin, a place to heal, a place where they could experience God's love through the prism of other people's lives. In 1990, I got a telephone call from a lady who said, there's a group in Tennessee and they've got this land and they want to give it to a ministry. And we ended up being the group they gave it to. Many of the kids who come here have someone in their family who cares about them. But at that time, they don't have anyone in the family who's able to take care of them. You realize this child needs a change of scene. They need to be in a place where they can really prosper. And this has been that place, a place of healing, a place of growth for over 200 kids now. My dad wasn't really in my life, and so I lived with my mom, and she like wasn't making the wisest decisions, and we kept moving. And when I like lived with my mom, we always lived sort of in apartments and everything, so I didn't really have much of an outside time. I would stay with Aunt Nancy in the summer sometimes and kind of hang out with her. I was always excited because it's like she has horses, or we always get to do fun things, always get to play outside, and she kind of just like realized that she wanted the best for me, and she knew that. Aunt Nancy was just like a good start. And her mom realized that she could not provide the home that Sydney needed. And she realized there was something very special and sweet in Sydney, and she wanted to preserve that. The ranch provided basically a safe haven for Sydney. Sydney flourished, Sydney grew. Um, her whole life is different from being at the ranch. It was one of the very best decisions our mom ever made. Everything we do here is designed to try and make the gospel believable to these kids. It's why we have the Adventure Rec program. That's why we have the horse program. The Lord led me here. It's been almost 10 years here at Wears Valley Ranch and uh, almost, I guess, 14 years professionally as a horse person. Good job. I can't ride their horse for them. I I can give them truths to apply, and then they need to take those truths and apply them. They have to own those and live those out on horseback. They definitely taught me responsibility and hard work. It just made me take initiative on things and just become a harder worker and just see that play out through other things, through jobs and school. And By God's grace, they will not just grow in hearing my voice and my truth and doing it on horseback, but that will be an avenue for the Lord to grow them in hearing His voice and His truth and doing it in all areas of their lives. began developing a, a clearer and clearer picture of what we felt God wanted us to do. And part of it was having individualized Christian education. Definitely needed to be a biblical framework in the way that we approach education, but it also needed to be individualized where each child could learn at their own pace, emphasizing the style of learning that is their strength, and able to be at one grade level in one subject and another grade level in another subject because that's the way most kids come to us. Being at the ranch, living at the ranch, all the different house parents that she got to know over the years, all the mentors, all the people that came together that made her family there, helped shape her, helped grow her. Everybody she comes in contact with is benefited from just how, how she grew at the ranch. Our goal is to take the children that God sends and provide them with a loving, home-like environment where they are taught the truth of the gospel 
and given an opportunity to learn great academics and have a hope for their future.